Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bomb has been diffused. Hello everybody, this is Fallen. I am a player from SK Gaming. And today I'm going to show you how to do a proper T-side default on Overpass. And when you're doing T-side defaults, normally you're trying to get map control and try to check what our opponents are trying to do. Sometimes they're trying to be aggressive, sometimes they're doing some different strategies. And as a whole, you try to understand what they're doing slowly so you don't get caught off guard. So basically on this default I'm going to show you, you're going to have three guys trying to get control over the mid area, Fontaine, Balloon, Long A or something like that. And the other two guys are going to be split up one connector and one at the monster trying to hold it. So in-game I'm going to show you a lot of options of all those players can do. Sometimes they can be aggressive, sometimes they can do the default and be more passive. So I'm going to try to show all of you for you in-game and a couple options you have on this default. Let's show that in-game for you now. So we're starting here the default as T. We're going to start from the left part. We're going to have three guys going over the park area. One guy going connector and one guy holding monster. We're starting on the park. And the first one we're going to talk about is about the upper roll. Okay, the upper roll, which should be trying to hold mid or long A, you have two options, all right? So if you choose to be mid, be concerned about the fact that some other opponents could be being aggressive using a smoke here in the stairs area. Some CTs will throw a smoke here and they're gonna jump trying to get some information here. You as an alper on T side must be careful because it's not too easy to see your opponents through the smoke. So sometimes it's smart for you to say and tell your teammates, all right, guys, there's a smoke mid, let's wait. And then 18 seconds later, when the smoke's gonna be off, you can go back and start looking for your enemy. All right, make sure to check these spots and see if there's no one pushing heat as well. And then your first part is done. You're gonna wait your teammates to start their support part. I'm gonna show here uh, in the next rows. And then you can start progressing and trying to find picks over the bathroom area, which is gonna be smoked and over highway, trying to be a little more aggressive here. All right, so your default part as the upper consists of trying to get those CTs being aggressive and then looking for picks in the next part. All right, so now let's follow to the second player. And the second player needs to see if he's faster than the third or the third is faster than the second because it's very important for you guys to throw a first flash mid. This way you can help your follow teammate to don't get caught by the Alps. So make sure to throw one flash mid and then you're going to come here to the park area. So you have to understand and try to feel how fast you want to play this. If your AWP teammate says there is a smoke mid, you might go a little more slower because he's having some concerns about someone being pushing. So you're going to take this time to hold here, for example, waiting for a long A push. You guys can boost here if you want the third player and have a different angle, or you guys can even get a different angle which you prefer. But you're going to be waiting for some couple of time where the smoke mid goes away and dissipate. Right after this time we're waiting, waiting for some push, you're going to start progressing. How are you going to do it? You're going to go here to this yellow flower. You're going to put yourself here. You're going to use a smoke on the top of this antenna right after the flowers, right after the green part. When you throw it, you're going to see that it's going to land a smoke in bathroom. This smoke is going to help you guys to get control over this area a little bit easier. So your, your AWP, the player one, can focus a little more on highway and you can have a little more progress over the balloon area. And remember, after throwing the smoke, when you do it here, put your AK in the hands and start strafing a lot because you're not sure if someone is on balloon area and you do some little movements like this. Make sure to check this corner. Sometimes people are hiding here. A lot of players like to use this position and then you can start progressing here. You know there's gonna be a smoke there, so you can use another flash to blind highway or you can maybe use your movement skills to make him miss a shot and then you can progress checking connector and then where your default is quite finished. You have the balloon part, you got this part and then you can progress later to get bathroom control or wait your other teammate to do some stuff with you. You can progress with him to bathroom, or you can go back, get everyone together to get long A control, but you got a little bit more of map control, and that's good already. You can find some kills, or start getting more map control. Now let's progress to the player three, which kind of supports the player two during this progress, during getting control over the balloon area. And make sure to flash me if you are the first one, uh, going to the park area. 
And after that, after doing this boost here, waiting with your teammate for two checks for some aggression, you're gonna support this guy getting balloon control. So as long as you see your teammate going through and start picking here, you're gonna be checking long A for him, and you're gonna feel that he's moving and moving, and so you're gonna keep progressing with him. Because if a trade starts, if he starts shooting someone that's right here, you need to make sure that this enemy is gonna die right after killing your teammate. So if your enemy kills one guy here, you are the guy supposed to trade with him, all right? So make sure to pay attention. Your role is to protect him and trade his kill if something happens, right? And after you guys get the balloon area, you can communicate some things together. For example, the smoke is going to start to disappear here and you guys can get a little bit of map of map control. So you can get a friend and say, hey, come with me. Let's get this area here on bathroom. You can get a flash. Right click, walk a little bit to, to forward, throw it. As soon as the flash explodes, you can start progressing to this area, checking out the angles, strafing, making sure that you are not an easier kill for your opponent. And then you guys can start moving up bit here, trying to get more map control. And remember to move as a double. So you make sure to trade kills if there is actually an enemy here, which is pretty common to have some people here. All right, so as soon as you get bathroom control, your part on default is done, and then you have to start thinking about what to do later in the round. And meanwhile, you just hold your aim and wait for some action from the CTs and the calls from your game leader. So now guys, we're gonna talk about the player four, which is the guy we expect to hold connector and give us information about how the CTs could be playing. So when you are holding connector, there is many things you can do. The first one you have to be thinking about is how aggressive you want to be. If you take a look in the other roles, you're going to see that your friends at the park area are not progressing too fast. So if you go too fast on connector, you might be trying to get the game for yourself. You might be trying to win it alone because the CTs could much well be doing a double setup here and you don't want to fight them too fast alone. What you actually want to do is try to suppress them and as much as your teammates are getting balloon area, you're going to be struggling then and trying to get them together. So. A very good start for you here is to jump here on this ball, on this wood and try to check on this small gap you have between the walls here. You can actually see the enemy and the enemy cannot see that you are looking to them on this spot. So this is very good for the T side because you can get the information where someone crosses here. So if you see someone crossing, there's a good indication that he's pushing here. What you can do is get a flash, press the right click, make a pop flash walk forward and throw it and then you can pick the guy which you saw here so you have to learn how to make this good flash the way i'm doing it right control try to aim here at the top light here use the shift press forward and throw it throw away and then you pick it all right you try to check the left turn yourself turn your face to the right side and then you get back to it all right this is a way to try to kill this guy and if you don't see anyone, that's a good indication that's nothing happening here. So as you're gonna see your the other teammates progressing, smoking bathroom, you can start going a little bit more. There's a couple little different spots you can use to hold connector as well. You can start using a Molotov if you want, just to tell the CTs, hey guys, I'm here, I'm holding this spot, don't try anything different because you can't push me, or something like that is not bad as well. Uh, this, this position is quite good because your enemies are not awaiting you, despite the fact that you lose some movement, you can get someone off guard by staying here as well. And make sure to be very concentrated. When you are holding positions by yourself, when you're taking care of these positions alone, you need to guarantee that you at least gonna kill one enemy. If you die here, you are being a big failure for your team as a teammate holding spots. So you need to do it properly and very concentrated, all right? That's it for the connector guy. He will try to push in the speed he wants, and if he wants to play more as a teammate, he can wait for the other guys to get balloon error first, and then he can start progressing here. If you want to be aggressive, that's the second option you have. You can just throw a molly there at the beginning of the round, wait some, someone's gonna pick, and then you can start coming and checking the angles. Make sure to check the right angle here. Sometimes people are waiting, or you can check the angle bef behind the stairs here, and then you can progress looking for all those angles here make sure to check the right corner, and then you have a connector for yourself. It's very important for this player to mention, connector is clear, I have connector, this is gonna make your teammate's life much easier when you get balloon control. But there is a risk 
some people could be playing here, then it's you against them. So now guys, we're gonna progress to the monster guy, which normally the lurker, we consider him the lurker on this role because he's playing very long. He's taking care of both parts at the same time. So he's going monster and he's actually need to be concerned about the water as well. So as a guy who's gonna be holding those positions, you have a lot of options as well. You can play very passive on the beginning, just trying to make sure nobody's pushing monster and trying to make some noise here, trying to get some uh, wall bangs here at the beginning of the round I'm gonna show you, or you can be aggressive. There are some lurkers during this role where they try to go water by themselves, try to fight alone here and get this water control, which is very good as well. It's bad against people who are playing getting water control CT, but it's good if your opponents are playing passive because you have more map control for free. So it's up to you to try to identify which one you can use and which one you think your style fits best. So for a start here, I think there is two ways you can try to kill someone without taking too much risks. I'm gonna show you a Molotov here where you go to this black dot, you try to put your aim somewhere close to here and you're gonna run forward and throw it. What's gonna happen is the Molotov is gonna burn this area here or something like that in order to stop your CTs pushing water at the beginning of the round. So let me try this again. Come here, walk forward, throw it, and then you're gonna move yourself to this corner and start shooting on this area. So there is a chance you can kill someone coming to rush water during this time, or you can make the enemies stop trying to get water control because they think there could be more people there after the Molotov time. So that's a pretty good play for you to start with. Another play, and that's when I saw Taco doing a lot of times and even Hobbit from Gambit on this last major in Atlanta, he did a nade here instead of doing the Molotov. So he was pre in this spot and then going back and doing the wall bank. So he came here, walk, crouch, do the HE and then start shooting. Actually Hobbit killed two guys here during the, the round he did it against his opponents uh, during this role. So that's quite interesting. If you can do some damage, if you can remove options from opponents without taking too much risk, this, is, this is, is interesting. But remember, as soon as you stop shooting here, as soon as you waste 20 bullets or something, be careful with monster then. If you don't see a smoke there, it might be because they have an AWP and you don't want to stay here too much time because you can be caught off guard. Now I'm gonna show you a good position here on Monster, which is used a lot by Zipex, Zipnix from Astralis. He likes to hold this position where he has an advantage. I myself have been caught by Zipex here with the AWP. I died for him without seeing him and there was some tournaments ago and on this major in Atlanta, I saw him doing a couple of times and get some kills on Neil, for example. So that's a good position to stay because you have a good scene on your opponent and actually your opponent can't see too much on the top of this part of the map here. So it's quite interesting when he starts picking here, he doesn't see you too much and you have an upper advantage on killing this guy. So that's a good position to hold as well. Uh, other thing, the, the monster guy should be concerned while holding passive, if you see a smoke right here from the CTs, you have to be concerned. That's a pro player play, but you have to be concerned because a lot of teams like to put this smoke here. They try to put a CT very close to the smoke and a teammate will flash them over so they can cross the smoke and kill you. So if you see a smoke too far, too deep like this, you should go back here and try to do some spans, try to catch them pushing the smoke and wait for it to go. Just like the player one, the AWP was waiting, the smoke disappear mid, you need to wait this smoke to go away so you don't get off guard by this kind of plays. And the second, the second type of play you can do here on Monster is by getting water control. What you're gonna do is you're gonna throw your own Molotov this way, you try to prevent the CTs from pushing there. So you throw your Molotov there and you don't stop to hex too much. You just go over, cross it, and then you try to figure out what's happening here. Sometimes they can molly this part, sometimes they can smoke this part, and you have two options. You can cross it and try to fight it alone, or you can just, all right, so they're fighting too much for this spot. I'm gonna go back. I don't wanna be caught off guard. They are not letting me have water, so that's fine. Or you can fight them. It's up to you. It's risky, but sometimes it's worth. You have to try it. Uh, if you don't see anything happening on water, which happens a lot of times, you can just stay here and 
strafe on this position because sometimes people boost here and you don't want to be get caught by the Alper here without being aware that he could be here. So you can make some movements or you can just use the jump at the end of the tunnel like this and try to kill him. That's another thing you can do with your movement skills as well. If you don't see anyone here, you will start coming very carefully here, checking water, and then you have a chance to kill someone, or you can just play passive on this position here, waiting for your enemies to make some action. As long as you have water control, remember, tell your teammates, water is mine, I have control of this area. This will make your life much easier for your teammates if they wanna be, make a B hit or something like that. So I hope you liked the video, and I expect you to be a better T-side player now on Overpass. Try to pick up the, the role you like it most, but don't forget to learn all of them because this is gonna make you a better player. Thank you, see you later.